Hey, what's up fam? Welcome to Level Up. My name is Tony Gilmore, and I gotta ask you a question. Have you ever felt like you are all by yourself? I mean, like you have gone after something and you thought you had a crew and you thought you had people helping you, but at the end of the day, it was just you and you alone. And I found in those moments that uh, when I feel abandoned or rejected by others, I sometimes think that God is doing the same thing. But I found in my life that God never leaves me or forsakes me. And there are moments where maybe, just maybe, I stepped into an arena that I shouldn't be in in the first place. It's in those moments that I understand that I have to discern what's God's desire and what's my desire. I get it. I get it. I mean, you want it so bad. It's right there in front of you. You have the heart for it. But I've learned to stop for a moment and ask, Lord, is it you? Not where the resources coming from, not where the people coming from. I've stopped and asked, Lord, is it you? Because if God's in it, nothing can stop it. And I found that there are moments where I go after relationships or go after business ventures or great ideas, but every great idea isn't a God idea. And so I have to step back and ask the question, Lord, is it you? See, I believe this, that when God's in it, there is nothing that can stop it. And I found this to be true in the scripture found in 2 Chronicles chapter 20. See, in this scripture, there's a king by the name of Jehoshaphat. And Jehoshaphat has made, he's made some bad choices in his past. He aligned himself with an ungodly king and almost got himself killed. So he knows what it's like to step off into his own will and almost lose everything. But God gave him a second chance. And here Jehoshaphat is facing one of the greatest moments, greatest challenges of his life when he's facing these three armies. These armies are stronger than him, bigger than him, and mightier than him. But he learned from his mistakes. He learned that if I go after what God wants me to go after, that I'm going to have everything that I need. So Jehoshaphat pauses, and instead of just making up his own way, he stops and he prays. As a matter of fact, he takes the whole country on a three-day fast and they begin to seek the Lord about what the Lord wants them to do. As they fast, he prays this incredible prayer reminding God of his greatness and his power and his might and who he is in his life. But he says this one line at the end of the prayer that I think is just riveting. He says, Lord, I don't know what to do, meaning I have laid my will and my desire down. My eyes are on you. He took his eyes off of himself and put his eyes on the Lord and the Lord gave him a strategy. As a matter of fact, after that prayer, the Lord began to speak through a prophet. And the prophet began to detail a strategy that only God could give him. You have to go face this army. But know this, the battle's not yours. It belongs to God. You won't have to fight this fight, Jehoshaphat, because you are doing what I want you to do. I'm going to fight this on your behalf. See, when we step into God's zone, when we step into the things that God wants us to do, he's going to fight every battle that we have. I know you thought you had to do it alone, but when you do what God wants you to do, you don't have to ask about the resources of the people where God guides, God provides. And so you can lean into what God says because he's the one that told you. As a matter of fact, I want to give you these three principles that when you're caught in moments like this, that you can learn to live out. First principle, lean. Lean into God. 
Lean not on your own understanding. Proverbs chapter 3 tells us that if we acknowledge God in all of our ways, that he would direct and make straight and plain our path. So when I lean into God, that means I'm leaning into his counsel, his might, his spirit, his wisdom, and not my own. I'm not looking for the opinions of my brothers or sisters. I'm looking to hear from God. I am leaning my total self, meaning God, if you don't come through, this isn't going to change. My God. God. And I lean the whole of this situation on him. See, when I lean on God, I can sleep at night. When I lean on God, I can have peace right in the middle of the storm. When I lean on God, I can rest in the fact that he's got me covered. And then the second thing I have to do is this. Listen, I have to listen for his instruction. I have to listen for his guidance. There are some moments and times in my life that I had to make a choice that I'm not going to move until you tell me what to do. I know it's uncomfortable pausing. I know it's uncomfortable sitting, but I'm not moving from this moment until you tell me what to do. Because like Jehoshaphat, I don't know what to do, but my eyes are on you. I remember when my wife and I moved to Chicago and we knew that God had told us to go, but she didn't have a job and we didn't have a place to stay. And there were moments in that journey where I wanted to turn around and come back to our hometown, St. Louis. But I made a choice. I said, God, I'm going to lean into you and I'm going to listen. And as we begin to listen, God began to speak and he gave us strategic plans. And the crazy part is this, there was a house that wasn't even on the market yet. And I just heard the voice of God, not out of heaven, but in my heart say, look something up on the internet. I looked it up on the internet, found the house, got my agent, and we went over the next day. We were able to secure that house, not because I'm so wise or so witty, but because when God God spoke I acted and he responded and that house was amazing <laughs> it was amazing see after I've leaned and after I've listened then I've got a launch Meaning, whatever God tells me to do, I've got to launch out in faith and do the very thing that he said. Oh, you may feel uncomfortable. Oh, you may look stupid. You may be terrified the whole time. But when God gives you a mandate, he is responsible to bring that thing to pass. And launching out in what God says, I heard this said in, when I was growing up that the safest place in the whole wide world is the center of God's will. And when you are operating in what God says do and you launch out in faith that is the place where miracles happen where God can do the incredible and the impossible I have seen it over and over again that when I listen to what God says and launch out in faith to do it that I receive the promise that he's made for me so listen I don't know what you're walking through I don't know what you're facing but the battle's not yours, it's God's. Stop wrestling with this, stop trying to fight it. God has your back. He will never leave you or forsake you. He has got the answer for you. All you've got to do is lean, listen, and launch. So listen, if this added any value to you today, do me a favor, go in and like it and add a comment of encouragement or a question and then share it with a friend because I know, you know, when we start these weeks out, we all need some encouragement. So listen, I can't wait to see you again until we get back together. Have an amazing week. God bless.